Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, today, we're reacting to, I mean, the Drift King. The, there's no better person to react to for drifting. Keiichi Tsuchiya. I want to start out with his like Drifting 101 videos. He's super famous. He's also really famous for the Drift Bible, some of his like initial drifting techniques. I'm not gonna lie to you guys, I am not like an expert on Keiichi Tsuchiya. There's a lot to this guy, but he's essentially like one of the OG drifters, if not the OG drifter. I believe a lot of fame came from his educational videos on how to drift, which I think is really cool because we make those now. And I, I don't know, it's just really rad for me, so. The clutch kick. This is actually a really cool video because um, he's at Willow Springs, Horse Thief Mile, which I've driven on a lot. He's going backwards though, what an animal. If you guys don't know who this is, that's okay, but honestly, watch this video. Like, he's an OG, honestly. He's like the OG. He's a D1 Grand Prix judge, the Drift King himself, Keiichi Tsuchiya. The Drift King? That's so cool. Let's go. Oh, he speaks English. I had no idea. That's cool. Let's see what he's made of. Let's see if he uses the handbrake. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> so I will say, I, like previewing some of these videos, I haven't watched him drifting since like I started. Um, some of his techniques are pretty unique. And then some are kind of like old school in a way, but like they're really proper for like lower horsepower cars and the kind of tracks he drifts on. I couldn't find any videos of him drifting like any, like a, you know, today's D1 or Formula Drift style car. I would love to see him drifting in like a thousand horsepower. I think, I think it may take him a little bit to get used to and stuff, but I feel like he'd be an animal in it because his base skills are, I mean, they're next level. Start with the side brake. By pulling the side brakes, you push the rear end of the car out. It's the best way to get your eyes used to the lateral motion. That's interesting. Next is power over if you have a powerful car with plenty of horsepower. That's usually the technique, like, because a lot of people in the United States I feel like drifting. It seems like everybody ditches SR20s and KAs um, and just goes to like a JZ or V8. So if you have something like that and you're learning to drift, start with a power over entry. I think that's a great, a great kind of place to start. Yeah, I mean that like, that's the thing. I feel like a lot of people, like they need to watch this old video. <laughs> like there are these base techniques that you should really learn and at least get good at, if not master, before you start trying to, you know, go and do tandem drifting and like 100 mile per hour entries, stuff like that. Cause you're, you're missing base stuff that will help you excel a lot faster. All right, I thought this would be really cool to look at. Um, this is kind of when the new A86 came out or GT86. GR86, it has a thousand names, I don't get it. But essentially, you know, the new version, and he went out and drifted it, which is pretty dang cool. The engine is really powerful. It just shows you guys like perspective, like. That's another, that's another good thing to practice. Like I feel like learning lines and apex all those different techniques, trail braking, like I feel like a lot of that stuff, many drifters miss because they just go straight into drifting. I'm not saying that you need to go to a school, but just go do some just regular track driving, even in your drift car, set it up a little bit differently. I feel like there's a lot you can learn. One of the biggest thing, I'll, set, I'll point this out, I can tell who has road raced before um, when they're not drifting. I can tell the guys who have road raced before because they're going like 80%, they're keeping up speed, they're not being but they're keeping up speed and they're still driving through the course when they're not drifting. The guys that have drift only, suddenly they're like hand out the window, they're freaking like vaping, going like 10 miles per hour. <laughs> oh, this is recent, June 2019. He's drifting his A86 at Nico Circuit. Okay, does he like never wear a helmet? <laughs> what an animal! <laughs> Apparently, <laughs> he has no roll cage, no helmet. He's like, I don't give a shit. He's honestly like, not only is he drift king, I feel like he's low power king. Like what he's able to do with some of these cars is actually really impressive. Not that there's no one else out there that can do it, but I just consistently see him driving these low horsepower cars and he's just shredding. 
Although, as you can see, like, he can't really connect some of these corners. So if you really want to get it to where you're like connecting every corner, um, you need a little bit more power. All right, I figured the last thing we'd check out is to kind of show you guys a little bit of the Drift Bible. It's, it's over an hour long, so we're not gonna watch the whole thing. <laughs> Kick the gas all the way in third gear. Brake, steer, then boom. You let the clutch go without using heel and toe. The rear will suddenly lock. Then you slide, counter steer. Yeah, so that, that's kind of similar to that technique is a technique that I'll use a lot. Sometimes it makes more sense instead of using a handbrake, if you don't have ABS, you can actually stab the foot brake. It'll kind of pivot it faster in a way. This is kind of an interesting technique and he's, he's using a similar version of that. Ripping. Uh, that corner entry began as a braking drift, but towards the exit, I switched to dynamic drifting. Yeah, so I mean, look at look at the speed he c comes into corners. Like, if he were to do a handbrake entry, I would never harp on it because of the speed he's actually going into these corners. And if he's doing a handbrake entry, um, it's just a quick chuck to like pitch the car sideways. Also, you guys want to look at two hands on the fucking steering wheel? I haven't pointed that out yet. I've been waiting to. He is as disciplined as you'll see. He's two hands, if he needs to do a shift, he's off so freaking fast, completing the shift and back on. That was probably the slowest he's done it that we've seen. Like, y'all can keep battling with me on these things and you will lose. Two hands on the steering wheel, the Drift King, teaching everyone how to drift. He's not like, oh, you wanna use one hand, keep your other hand floating on the handbrake or shifter, that's proper. Hit the brakes and stop the car. Take a deep breath and calm down. You won't get anywhere trying to recover from this stage, so just stop the car and chill, okay? Yes! Oh my gosh, I didn't realize he taught that, but that is so huge, and I talk about that too. It's like, if you mess up and you spin out, restart, you know, come back around, restart. Don't try to like drift and spin out and then like get back into it. One, it's like a safety thing. Two, it's a time thing. You wanna get out of the way because there could be someone quickly coming up behind you. But also, you immediately kind of forget what you did and where you went wrong, right? So it's just a really good, it's, it's so good. I still do it to this day. Heck yeah. When you can drift for show, then you're ready for the ultimate drifting style. All right, guys, that is the freaking Drift King. That was so fun to watch. And I love that, like, going to this video, I had no idea if he'd be handbrake entering everything or one wheel, you know, one-handed steering or this or that. It's really cool to see that, like, what I've learned and how I've educated myself and watched from other pros is what the Drift King himself does. I think that's really cool. I think, I think the proof is in the pudding. If you guys are looking to get into drifting, though, definitely check out the Drift Bible. I also have a whole How to Drift playlist as well. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, though. This is really fun. It's been a long time coming. I mean, this is, like, this is it's kind of the peak of Pro Drifter Reacts, I believe. I don't know where we go from here, but it's a good way to end the year off. Thank you guys for watching. Um, all right, anyways, I love all of you. We'll see you tomorrow. Peace.